the amount of information that's been collected is unprecedented in, in history. You know, 90% of the information that we've collected over the history was collected in the last two years. So the water industry and water management in general should benefit from the advancement in sensing. So that's the first thing, but it's not enough. The data is one thing and we need to then use the data in a useful way and again um, it seems like that water management is lacking or lagging behind other industries and other areas but we are catching on. Each utility is going to be in a different stage depending on whether they're a developing nation or, or they're a fully industrialized um, community and I think that uh, the key is to identify where they're at today, to have a really good understanding of where they're at today and what their goal is, and then to build a plan to achieve that, leveraging the lessons learned that we've achieved uh, to date. So from other industries, there are many different things that we've learned, and the great news is many have gone before us, and we're, we're in a position really in the water sector to take advantage of that. The technology is there today. The technology exists, but it's how we put that to work and how we adopt that that's going to make us successful. The utilities have vast amounts of data uh, at their fingertips right now, but in many cases they can be overwhelmed by that data or the data itself is not um, consistent in its form and format. And so whether it be helping them to address the issues of non-revenue water, whether it be the issues of the extending the life of their existing infrastructure, uh, whether it be managing things like stormwater overflow through climate change or helping them improve the energy efficiency of their wastewater networks, the power of data and turning that into actual insights and actionable information is there.